for tuning in. Sorry it's been a minute. I've been settling into my apartment and as you can see the Christmas decor has come up and there is an apartment Christmas tour coming soon so and lots of Christmas content. It's very exciting. Um, but today, speaking of my apartment, we are talking about why you should live on the top floor, which is what I do. I'm on the third floor. Um, I have only ever lived on the second or third floor, third floor being max. Um, I've never lived in a high rise or anything like that, so this is not that type of video. But I want to give you five reasons and then five tips for living on the top floor. So let me know if you like this video, like it down below. And if you're new here, I would love to have you subscribe and join. I know I've gained a few recently, so let's just keep growing. First of all, I've got to tell you all about this hoodie. It's from Target. It's super cute. It's got little ears. I was a teddy bear for Halloween, so look at it. It's so cute. I just had to show that. And I'm also using my hustle mug because I have work today, so. But anyways, let's get into the tips. Okay, so my personal number one reason why I choose the upper floor is for the view. My view here, where I'm living currently, is the best view I have ever had. I'll insert a picture or a clip or something, but um, yeah, 10 out of 10. And you get more natural light if you're on the third floor, in my opinion, because less is blocking, you're on the top. Um, but yeah, it's very important to me to have a good view, have natural light, and being on the third floor definitely eliminates any of that not happening. Number two is a lot of other people's personal reason. To me, it's not a huge deal because like I've said, I've lived on the second floor, I've had someone above me, but I know to a lot of people, being on the top floor is important because you don't have anybody above you, you're not taking that chance of having someone that's loud, and it's just a nightmare through your whole lease term. So, that is a benefit. I mean, you have to take it into consideration. You are doing work. I'm saying if you have no elevators, you're doing a lot of work, but there's payoff. Number three, is exercise so i mean it's a benefit yeah it's hard work but you're getting your steps in getting i mean i felt it my first few weeks here like in my thighs the burn now i feel like my cardio has actually gotten better like i don't feel as dead when i get to my apartment so you are getting exercise i will say that number four and this is totally situational um where i live it's actually cheaper to live on the third floor i know some places you live it's more expensive to live higher um, but if it's cheaper, then I say go for it, um, which in my case it is. It's cheaper if you live on the higher floor because we don't have elevators, we just have stairs, so you're kind of doing more work. Number five, uh, in the winter time, like right now, heat rises, so my heat bill is a lot less, so that's definitely beneficial to me. Okay, now getting into the tips here. Um, I've got five tips for you to make your life a little bit easier living on the top floor. So let's get into that. Like I said, I'm on the third floor, no elevators, just stairs. Um, we did not hire movers. We moved everything ourselves, me and my boyfriend. It was more cost effective that way. Uh, it was a pain. It was very hard. It was really stressful, but if you are in the financial situation, have movers definitely do that. I mean, it's easier, obviously. Um, move at night when it's cooler. We moved in the summer, so it was brutal. Uh, if you can move in the winter when it's a little cooler as well, that will help. So those are some things just to kind of help you move to an upper floor because we did it in the heat of summer, two people, midday, and it was just, it was a lot. But um, you just gotta think in your head, one and done. You just, gotta get it over with and then you don't have to do it again for at least a year hopefully okay let's talk about groceries because this is a big topic that people have when they live on a top floor that it's too hard it's not um there's some things i do to make it easier on myself one i know it's not everybody's favorite i feel bad doing it but you can do grocery delivery i did it right when we moved in um, you can also get a grocery caddy. I'll insert a picture. Uh, you can get the mommy hook. I think that's what it's called, a mommy hook. And I'll insert a picture of that as well and leave it linked down below. Um, but these things help you carry your groceries up. Um, also, something that we do is that when we grocery shop, we only buy what we can carry. I mean, some people don't think that way, but we do a one and done trip. Like, we load our arms up, we go up, and that's it. Like, we're not gonna go up and down all night. It's 
so I definitely try to do things that make and and I actually will grocery shop more frequently um, so like every three days and just take little bits up at a time instead of just a massive grocery order home because it just it's too much to take to the third floor so um, those are just some tips to help you that way it's a non-issue that kind of ties into tip number three delivery is key so when we moved we got rid of like I'd say 90% of what we owned and we've just reordered after we moved it was a lot easier that way so we just had our boxes really we got rid of a lot of our furniture anything that's heavy you don't need it like if it's a heavy oak piece of furniture you're just gonna kill yourself trying to get up there. So either store it, get rid of it, give it to a family member. Um, but what we did was we did like Ikea delivery. Uh, we did Target, Amazon. I mean, you can have everything delivered to your front door. So that's a really good way to make the move a lot less painful and um, actually get new things for your apartment all at the same time. Tip number four is more of just a reminder. Um, just be mindful and be a courteous neighbor. Like remember how heavy your feet are. Don't stomp around because you're avoiding that loud neighbor by living on the top floor. Don't be that loud neighbor. Just be mindful that there is someone below you. They could have a kid, like they could be asleep at nine. So I always try to do my vacuuming at a reasonable hour and my music and things like that. And I usually have my apartment quiet by like nine or 10. So that's just something personal to me that is important. And my last tip is enjoy your view. I mean, you work so hard to live on the third floor. If you have a patio, go sit out at night and watch a sunset or just enjoy it. Um, if you don't have a patio, make sure you open your blinds and just watch the sky. Like you work really hard to live on a top floor, make sure that you're getting the benefit from it. I know a lot of people say they don't really care about what they see outside. I do, and it really makes a difference. So definitely just take the time. All right guys, that is it for this video. Um, make sure you give it a like if you like these tips. If you live on a top floor, comment down below or if you have, I would love to hear your tips that are kind of unique because I'm always looking for feedback and hacks. Um, but yeah, so like I said, there's a lot of Christmas content coming. I've worked really hard on my Christmas apartment tour. Um, I think it's gorgeous. I think y'all are going to like it. So make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So when I do post that, you are ready. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.